three things to keep in mind when you're thinking about getting pre-approved for a mortgage with credit score being top of mind. that I've been uh, doing this processing, working hand in hand with underwriters. Some of the scenarios that I've seen that have really helped people be as prepared as possible when it comes to getting pre-approved is with credit being such a big aspect of it, being mindful of that leading up to it, whether it's the first six months, the year, up to two years prior, because you gotta keep in mind how you file your taxes. You wanna make sure that you're keeping track of your W-2s. That's gonna be a big key. Have that stuff on hand and ready. Something, especially if you're younger and working to build up an established credit, you might not have negative credit, you just might not have credit history, which is something that the underwriters are absolutely gonna look at. So one of the best things to do is go into your bank or your credit union, take say $300, $500, ask to open a secured credit card. What this is gonna do is it's gonna keep a maximum flexibility on how much you can spend. That way things can't get crazy, can't get out of hand. But what you wanna do is buy gas and groceries and just things like that keep that paid off monthly. So six months worth of that, you're gonna to start to establish a positive credit history. With that in mind, stay in control of it, not let things get out of hand, but begin to build that positive credit history. And that's gonna go a long way in increasing that score, which is gonna offer better interest rates, lower fees, all those things. So another key factor that I've noticed over the years that's been very helpful is one of the things that you wanna do is think about how the underwriter is gonna look at how you're managing your current available credit. So let's say you have a current credit card with an available spending limit of $10,000. What you don't wanna do is have a balance of $9,557 and making the minimum monthly payments because what you wanna really focus on is staying under a third of the available balance. What that's gonna do is show the underwriter that you are responsible. You're responsible and manage your budget well, which is gonna be one of the key factors that they look at as far as can this applicant handle this new monthly mortgage payment. And one final point that I have definitely seen that, that seems to help that a lot of folks don't really talk about a lot of times is if you do want to, let's say, get rid of a credit card, don't get rid of it. Pay that balance down to a zero balance and then just let it ride. Don't close it because sometimes you will actually get dinged and the credit score could reflect a lower score for a little while when you close that credit card. So. Keep that line of credit open, maybe even use it every three months. Put a hundred bucks on it and then pay it off. Just to keep that revolving account rolling and again, showing that you're positive and on top of things and responsible with managing that budget. To recap, three things to keep in mind when you're getting ready to get pre-approved. One is gonna be getting that secured credit card if you're newer to having credit. Two is gonna be keep that balance below a third of available credit limit. And the third one is gonna be any credit card accounts that you have, pay them down to zero, don't close them. Keep them open, keep them rolling. If you ever wanna learn more, I'm here as a resource for you. You can call or text, email. You can always find more information and access me at loanswithtyler.com.